Hey, good morning guys, Craig Rapihana here again, and I wanna talk exit strategy, and I'm jumping forward a little bit here, but it's one of the most important things um, that you need to think about is, you know, when you first start, well, when I first started creating uh, some of my other companies, you know, even back when I was doing construction and, and had a construction business and had a lot of guys working for me and doing all that, you know, it was always quick to say, oh, you know, I want to make, you know, $10 million or I want to make $100 million, you know, it all, it all changes. But what I've learned over the years is that you have to think about your exit strategy. So I would, um, you know, just... I never really thought about that in the beginning. And I was like, oh, you know, I just want to do it for, just to not live paycheck to paycheck, just get some form of income coming in and at the end of the month, be able to buy whatever you want, you know? And, but what happens is you quickly realize as you go through the motions and stay in the motion, I think you lose track of that goal. You lose track of, of, of that target point because you just sort of, you you, you know, I, I think I fell into that position where I was just servicing a job, servicing a highly paid job, you know, and and it's, you, you get to the end of the year and I was getting to the end of the year and I would look at my, my income statement and I think back, back a few years ago when I was in the construction, I, it was like $900,000 or $960,000 I'd made in one year but there's only $20,000 in the bank. And I'm like, man, there's a lot of outgoings. There's a lot of paying for other guys to help me do this. And, and I was like, I was just overworked, started losing my hair. And I was like, there's gotta be, there's gotta be a better way to this. I, I just can't keep, well, I mean, it was great to be able to have, have people working with you and seeing them have nice trucks and nice tools and it was it was a good feeling you were helping people but at the end of the day you sort of forget about yourself you forget about your family and your family's number one and so you know you struggle a little bit with your family that's where it was a breaking point to me I was like okay I gotta change this what is my exit strategy and what are, what do are people talk about exit strategies for because if you look at an exit strategy and say, okay, I want to make a million dollars, okay? A million dollars a year. Then you have to break that down and say, okay, what's that per month? Okay, what's that per day? Or per week and then per day and then per hour? And I think, don't quote me on this, I think it's like $247, $247 an hour or something like that. So you think to yourself, okay, how can I make $247 an hour? Is that selling on Amazon? Is that selling on eBay? Is that... A person going in and buying five products from five retailers across the country very doable when you think about it you're not actually doing it so you have to really focus on your exit strategy and one of the things that really helped me and I'm probably going to get them on a, um, a webinar with me here shortly and that is I have an Amazon broker this guy sells Amazon businesses and he's always said to me, okay, you know, here's where you need to be. You need to be at this point with these sales, with this depth of product lines, and then you'll be able to sell it because there's a lot of people that don't want to go through the startup. There's a lot of people that don't want to, um, it just, they just don't want to go through all the headaches that you can come across when you don't know what you're doing. And if you don't have access to, you know, guys like myself or, guys in the industry that can can and can get you into that um, way of avoiding mistakes and stuff in your business. So think about your exit strategy. Um, think about where you want to go with this. What is your realistic outcome? And then break it down. And I'll go a little bit more in deep, but what I'm doing right now today is I'm actually, and that's the reason I wanted to bring up exit strategy, is I'm looking at the six retailers that I have with this one brand right now and I'm breaking them down into percentages. I know that this retail is 20% of the business, this one's 15% of this one, this one's five, and, and, and so on. And then what is it gonna cost me to maintain that? Who is really engaging in that? Do I need to put a sales rep in that position? Because if I'm getting a two, let's say I'm making $3,000 from one small retailer online per year, 
Okay, how many times am I gonna fly to meet with him? You know, am I better off having a rep in that industry, in that town, that can go and see him and pay him a commission and save money on flights and accommodation and you know all the 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 operating expenses but i look at that and then say okay well can that guy increase the business from two two percent or five percent to ten percent where do we need to go you got to be able to break it all down and it's it's pretty hard going it's it's a lot of number crunching but think about your exit strategy because it makes it a lot easier on how you do things and then you can start breaking it down into okay i want to be here at three months and you focus on that three months and then you say okay i've got to this point and well let's say let's say here's how i do it okay i'll look at somebody and say okay if i don't get any movement in three months it's either ads money spent or just the listings or anything like that what can i do i don't i don't move on to what I want to achieve in six months because I haven't achieved the three months. So I work, 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 work hard on that three months, make that contact, make that contact, make that contact, make it happen, then increase it. it. Does multiple things. It keeps your team that you have in place true and they're able to focus on that task and everyone wins that task and then you move to the next step. So think about exit strategies um, and really think about what do you want to do? Do you want to sell it for a hundred thousand? You want to sell it for a million? Do you want to sell it for ten million? And then I'll show you the inside secrets here shortly. I'm look for something from me. I'm going to show you ten different ways on how to increase the value of your business. You know, from email lists all the way through and real email lists and stuff, um, because that can make a huge, huge difference um, in your evaluation. So keep moving forward. Uh, remember, if it's uh, if you fall, try to land on your back. Because if you can look up, you can get up. All right.